Hey guys, welcome back. I've got another what's for lunch video for you today. If you're new here, we're a homeschool family, so we eat all of our lunches at home. And I just share with you some of the meals we make. Some are super simple and some I'll share a recipe for. So I hope you guys enjoy. To start off this week, I made one of my favorite cucumber salads. So I'm just cutting up five baby cucumbers, three sweet mini peppers, and about a fourth of a sweet onion. Of course, you could change all these ingredients if you want and leave out the ones you don't like, but I like these three all together, and then I'll show you how I make the dressing. I should have mixed this up in the bowl first because it makes it a lot easier, but the dressing is just two tablespoons of mayonnaise, about a capful or half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, about a teaspoon of dill, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and salt and pepper to taste. It's funny that my kids all love all of these ingredients raw or by themselves, but Garrett won't touch the salad. Tucker will eat half the bowl right along with me. And for the boys, I had a whole bunch of banana bread left that I needed to use up before it went bad. And they told me they wanted a peanut butter and banana bread sandwich. I just served their little sandwiches with an apple, a carrot, and some pretzels, and this made a super quick and easy lunch. Mm -hmm. 
the next day we had some pulled pork left over in the fridge and I'm just gonna make up some instant rice and some frozen corn and we have this queso fresco cheese and some butter. So I just layered my rice in my bowl with my corn on top that I cooked with some butter and salt and pepper and then that pulled pork I warmed up and then topped it all off with some queso fresco cheese. The next day the boys had some leftover chicken and bacon pull apart bread. I'll leave the link to that video down in the description box for you if you want to check that out. And to go along with that they just had some apple slices, some celery sticks, and some pretzels with peanut butter for dipping. I'm not usually a huge breakfast person but on this day I had eaten quite a bit in the morning so I wasn't very hungry so I just had some pretzels and celery with peanut butter. This one might have been one of my favorites. I just took some leftover curly fries and threw them in the microwave with some shredded cheese, some real bacon bits, and then topped them off with some green onions with some ranch and Tony seasoning for dipping. This next one was one of those things that happens when you're scrounging around in the fridge and you don't know what you want to eat. I call this one my Mexican brunch tostada. I had some tostada shells left over in the pantry. I just topped one with some cotilla cheese, threw out a couple of fried eggs, and some cilantro and salsa. one was super delicious so if you like breakfast food and Mexican food you should give this one a try. The next day we wanted some grilled cheese sandwiches but we were all out of sliced cheese so I went for the Velveeta. It looks kind of gross while I'm putting it on here honestly but it melts really good and turns out delicious. So I know there are two types of people in this world. Do you put your butter on your bread or in the pan? just had plain grilled cheese and on mine I added some real bacon bits and Adam wanted some sliced jalapenos.
this next one we had some leftover tomatoes and monterey jack cheese from our blt video i'll link that one down below for you so i just made myself an open-faced tomato sandwich And today I was super excited to find that I got my SipSpy box in the mail. If you haven't heard of SipSpy, it is a monthly subscription box service that sends you four different teas from four different companies, personalized just for you. And the box I got today was extra special because this one is the Lucky Teas box. In every box, they always include this card that tells you more about each tea in the box and how to make them. They also include a reusable muslin cloth tea bag that's full of disposable ones. So the first tea in this box is this loose leaf fortune cookie black tea from Driftwood Tea Company. The next one I'm pretty excited to try. This is the Copper Cup Super Greens Latte Mix. Next up is this Stash Super Irish Breakfast Tea. In my opinion, if it's Stash Tea, it's always good. And last but not least is this Love Some Tea Green Rainbow. This one says it's green tea with deep flavors of passion fruit. So if you're interested in trying out SipSpy, I'm gonna leave a link to their website in the description box down below, as well as my code where you can save $5 off your first box. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed these types of videos on my channel, please don't forget to hit that like button and I would love to have you as a part of our YouTube family. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications so you know each time I upload a video. And we'll see you guys next time.